Yes, 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 y'all. It is Bodega Sports. With your host, P.S. Lou. Ken Dog to the number one hater, uh, the LeBron hater. Really? Yeah. <laughs> And in case you didn't know, it's Hood News Media, which you should already know if you're listening, motherfuckers. And I got a red cup. Red cup of what, though? A red cup of, I'm not going to say because them niggas ain't paying me, and some soda. <laughs> and for some of y'all, that would be pop. Ice. Yeah. All right, yeah. so we here. Week three and four in review. Damn, we missed, damn, you missed a week, dude. Come on, man. Well, last time this happened, huh? Week three was whack. Alright. Week four? That's where it's at. Alright, so if let me ask you if it was whack, what's the top thing that happened in week three though? All the chit chatter. About the, the mellow chit chatter. So it was all about mellow and Jimmy Butler. Now, week four, we just heard some news. It's still about <laughs> It's still about Mellow and Jimmy Butler. So well, let's, let's 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 talk about the downside first. Let's talk about Mellow first. Alright. Ice, what do you think about Melo so far this year? He's a fucking bum. I told you he was a bum. He, sh- he should have never been traded. He was a waste of fucking money. And now look at him. Now he don't know where to go. Now y'all doing polls about where you think he should go. Oh it was just God. a waste of time. What he thought? He was going to get traded and be the main man on the team? No. You sit your old ass down. Wow. She's the Melo... And LeBron hater today. Listen, if he would have fucking handled it when he left the Knicks and handled his wife. Mm. Yeah, don't look at me like that, Kendall. If he would have handled it and took care of his wife, then maybe he wouldn't be in this position. Kendall? I'm just saying, if we, if, so you're saying he not backed up or he backed up? Because usually when you backed up, don't you have more energy? Okay. And he, he's supposed to be going in the ball, taking it to the like jail ball is like you see dudes playing jail ball, right? But how? They be like, ah! Ah! <laughs> frustration, and <laughs> coming out like that's what we that's what we like. You just came, you just came home, son. Like, like it's just basketball. It's, it's, it's not football, son. It's basketball. BX Lou gonna tell y'all what's going on. Oh, oh my god! Go. BX Lou, like always, got the ears to the streets. I'm so tired of this shit. No, you don't. <laughs> Listen. Um, let him hit it. Breaking news, fuckers. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Let's be honest, all right? This is Melo should have went to a team where he was the second person that was going to get the ball. IG, XG, GX, whatever. Give an example. Okay. The Lakers, right? Because LeBron, a bunch of kids. But if LeBron and Melo is there, then you know it's Melo, LeBron, and the kids. Now, he went to Houston, right? Yeah. Houston has who? Harden, Capella. Well, why don't you? Why do you think it didn't work in Houston? Because and this is what I'm leading to. If you give me a minute here, all right, the blue. all right, all right. All right. <laughs> when Harden was out, who was putting up all the points? Great. When Harden was out, was putting all points. Wasn't that dude got traded? No, nigga, it was Melo. Then he put up 28 and 37. That was two games. That was the two games that Harden was out when he replaced them. So you think Harden is feeling threatened? No, I think that Melo needed to be the second star on the team. That's my point. But was Harden he- comes back, he got to go back to the bench. Three points, five rebounds. He'll be playing and- again. <laughs> But this is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Melo shouldn't have went there. He's not, he's not accustomed to coming off the bench. If Melo would have been a second option for another team, that works for him. Because he'll get the ball at least 10 to 15 times. Him coming off the bench, he's coming off the bench with a bunch of young bucks. who like, man, fuck this old nigga, son. I'm getting the ball. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... So where do you think he's gonna go? Well, he wait, can wait, be the wait. I, I, man. I, I got a question, but was he the second man in Thunder? No. When when PG thirteen showed up, they pushed Melo to the side because they're trying to yo PG, what's up? What's good? 
Right yeah. or wrong? Who's PG? Yeah. Paul George. What's, what's, you, you know, of course. So where he's going to go, where he's going to be number two? He either... Honestly... Nowhere. No, yeah. that's not true. Where? I think that if they... Like you said, you go to Lakers, right? Yeah. If he goes to the Lakers, he becomes the second option. He goes to the Lakers, he's a fucking traitor. He's not a traitor. He's got to do his right no, He got no more options, though. I, he got no more options. Fuck him and fuck LeBron. Or he could do the most asinine thing ever and go this play on some minimum shit to fucking... Uh, Shanghai Sharks? Nah. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> Gonna play back in New York. If that's nah, the case, go back to the Knicks. Nah, New York Listen, don't want him. Nah, son. You know what? Yo, they threw his ass all the way. You know, out. Yeah. They no. threw him out. But you know what? One thing you gotta respect about him is even though the team was taken, he stood with them and he didn't want to get traded. And he stood with them until they brought him out. Yeah, but he, he stuck it out. He has a reputation of a pansy. Mm. You know where he could go to go back to Denver. That is probably the only team I feel that would say, let's see, because they already have a core that they know how to play. And he's, and he's not going to affect them in the way that they he missed, might affect young players. They're missing a star player. Yeah. And that might work for them. Get him back to number 15. Go back to where number 15, my nigga. Go, to, go back to where it started? Yep. I can see that. I can see that. I've seen plenty of occasions where... Because nobody else is going to take him. I'm telling you right now. Nobody else is going to take him, bro. Somebody going to get that. He, he's been everywhere. And everywhere he's been, everyone is like, yo, this dude. What is the... You real- know who will take him? Who? Charlotte. Mike will for the simple already. fact that he works for Mike already. Yeah, I can see that. But is he going to get a ring? He ain't never nah, gonna he ain't never going to So then he needs to fucking hang it up and go <laughs> spend time with his wife. I guess. I, you know... Hang it up. I what you so. playing for? You ain't gonna get no. If you're not gonna get a ring, what are you playing for? Maybe you can make. Maybe, maybe the Warriors could give him an exception. <laughs> is his wife? Is his wife gonna give him any buns? Who knows? I don't know. Who so. knows? But she's paying the town she all looks, the way back. She looks. She looks look crusty out in these streets. Crusty. You heard what I said, nigga. She looks yeah. crusty in these That's streets. That's your problem. You got issues. Y'all remember issues. one time back in the day I used to watch this commercial, right? <laughs> Yo, I share a podcast with a bunch of crazy motherfuckers, man. And we ain't going to, I hope that didn't get into into um, YouTube's. <laughs> we don't want to smoke with YouTube. Yo, but being on Mellow, though, do you think it's his fault that the Rockets are losing? Because that's what they're trying yes. to make a scene. Yes. You think it's his fault? How can you blame the nigga that's coming off the bench? Who's, who hot come Harden is not holding up some responsibility? There is a, there is a, I'm hot come CP3 ain't taking some responsibility. How come it takes fucking Dwayne Wade let me all talk, the way though. from Dade County in Miami to defend his man? How come Chris Paul not defending him? It's not all Melo's fault. Either coaching is fucked up, or Harden is hogging the ball, or CP3, that little two piece that he caught to the draw, fucking him up. Let me, let me explain something to you. First of all, he had a problem with the coach from day one. From back in the day. So why you bring him there? Exactly. He should have never went over there. That's my whole point. He should have never that, went over there. That's not his fault. But the reason why I say they're going to put it as his fault is when you have a well... When you have a team that almost made the freaking final. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. And you take one piece out, right? Granted, that piece was definitely something that you needed. But you go from... What was big, the piece? What was that? that Trevor Ariza? Yeah, Trevor Ariza. They let him go because they didn't want to pay him. I know, but he was vital to them. All right, so that, that's not Melo's fault. That's not Melo's fault, but you bring in Melo to, 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 to fill no, his shoes. No, because Ariza was a starter. Melo's not a starter. Melo's a sixth man right now. You can't blame somebody on the bench for what the starting lineup is not doing, which is scoring. You can't. You cannot, son. All right, so you're on the bench. You was a superstar. You, you decided to think, cur- curb your ego and be like, all right, I'm going to the bench. Think of anybody that is a star right now and put him on the bench. What are they going to do when they're on the bench? They ain't going to do shit. Nah, son. You telling me LeBron's on the bench, he ain't going to do shit? You telling me freaking... Who's, who's, all right, who's in Melo's class right now of his age that you could say we put him on the bench and they're going to do so? Look at freaking Vince Carter. Vince Carter is... Vince Carter's a star, though. What about J.R. Smith? 
Too. Yeah, he don't want to play that. He play, he's another one. Just, he's exactly like he's exactly like Melo, and the only person he wants to play with is the person that gives him the most hard burn, and it's LeBron. My thing is this: you can't blame Melo for the unfortunates of how other players play. He scored two games. points in one game, bro. Okay, so what do you want him to do? Well, he wasn't there last year, right? Who? How did this team play? Phenomenal. Okay. He's on the bench, nigga. Why are they not playing phenomenal? Well, maybe they're saying it's not just his game. Maybe they're saying his the way that he took. Because you know how the NBA I'm is about. Sorry. In, in, I'm in, sorry. Maybe he's a distraction. Maybe he will run. He bring the strippers or something. I don't know. Maybe he's going to Yeah, I love the strippers. <laughs> yeah, I love the strippers. I love the strippers. <laughs> That's how they be clapping, son. <laughs> Listen, at the end of the day, oh my god, should he retire? Yes. Should he have hung it up? Yes. Maybe he's just a bad luck. Maybe he just got a oh. bad omen. He, you know what? He shouldn't eat so many hundred Cheerios. Too much fiber, son. Listen, should mm. he retire, or should he go somewhere else? I think he has one more chance. and if he's, You said that shit two weeks ago. But I told you he should have went to L.A. I've been saying for the longer. I said wherever LeBron was, I said he should have went to the Cavs when they were trying to make that trade. He said no. He went somewhere else. When he went to the Lakers, I said he should have went to the fucking Lakers. I've seen them two play together since high school. When they play together, they are a freaking monster team. Ooh. LeBron and, and Carmelo, when they they been playing ball, it's like two, it's like I your boys. Those too big. But they've been playing ball together since I high know, school. But they're not in high school now. They big boys now. Nah, I think I, I don't think Melo wants to win a chip with LeBron. You absolutely right. I don't think so. But he knows he can. That's the problem I have with him. He knows he can. But it's but the he, ego. But it's the ego. She is right. There you go. The hater has put a point. Give a clap for the hater right now. Let's get a clap for the hater right now. <laughs> Like, yo, I'd rather lose. He's like, I'd rather fucking lose and not have a fucking championship that went with that nigga. Yeah, because he's... And you know what? I ain't mad at him. I ain't mad at him either. I ain't mad at him either. <laughs> I ain't mad at him either, son. I ain't mad at him. I'm I ain't not. mad at him either. I'm not. Fuck that. Because if there's one person who could play LeBron one-on-one defensively to a T, it's Melo. I ain't seen nobody play defense on LeBron like Melo. Yeah, well, does. you play somebody 24-7, you're going to have that. <laughs> this is that's just how it is. You play since it's high school. Happening. Yeah, you you gonna know how to play. Well, Melo, much pride. It ain't happening. At this point, we all here say retire, my nigga. Yeah, move from Honey and Cheerios to Wheaties, and you know you might win some chips. Damn, son. This, Wheaties is the cereal that you get when you win the His chips. His best move would be to get some first flakes. <laughs> Why? Because they grow right. Hey, moving on to greatness. <laughs> Philadelphia. Oh my God! They just got who? Jimmy Butt. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Buckets, baby. Oh my goodness, Jimmy B. I don't even know who that are is. Are they the best in the East now? They are the second best. I still think the Raptors are the best team. In the East. You still think the Raptors, player for player, are better? Player for player, yeah, yeah. Because they have players that have made it to the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. They, they just they have a better all around team. And the Raptors have always made it to you know to the finals. I just think they have a better team. And they already showed the they already showed the the, the Celtics. You know, Don't bring it over here. You know what? what upset, <laughs> you know what upsets me about <laughs> the trade? Kawhi, baby. The shit that they gave up for him. Motherfucking peanuts, fifty cents, and a fucking Marvel comic book. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's all they gave up for him. They didn't yeah. give up shit for a top 10 player. Yeah, top, top 10. 10 player. And, and this thing right now, yeah. yeah. Definitely top 10. He, you know what? Why he's going to help fully? He's going to bring that hard-nosed defense and winning attitude that they're lacking. And they want, and they want that. They Philly want. Is, is, is a different team than, than Milwaukee because they actually want, a, they want that player to, to bring that toughness. And he's going to do what Draymond Green does for the Warriors. He's going to do it for Philly. And that's what Philly's been missing. So the only problem that I, I see is they have a softy 
marshmallow dude in the middle, and we're gonna see how. Who's, he, who's the softy in the middle? What's his name again? Bum ass MMB. Son. There you go, son. MMB's trash. Son. He's still I trying to get that y'all. Rihanna buns. Yo, he's, he's so mad he didn't get the Rihanna buns, but uh, Damn. Jimmy buckets will have to put it on him and let him know he's the man. So we'll see how that works out. So we move on, and now we're gonna talk about Icy's favorite part of the whole show. Who's talking about? Bron Bron. Oh. Bron Bron Senior. We're playing basketball. So is this guy playing ball? Or is he just getting paid? This motherfucker missed two crucial free throws again. This is why I've always said you can't call this motherfucker, and I lose. I use that term very loosely, motherfucker, the oh, yeah. best in the NBA. I agree. If he missed a crucial free throw. I've been telling you this shit every single time. This nigga here. Yo, Gotti, if you the wrong thing, nigga, you missing free throws too, bitch. <laughs> Fuck out of here, my nigga. Oh, my How God. How do you miss free throws? I've been seeing this a while. Explain. Like, this is your man. I'm going to sit here. Hold on. Red cup in my hand. Put my feet up on the bubble. With my, I, I, with my I, I, Wolverine socks. I think LeBron is cruising right now. I don't think he's playing. Yo, can I, I don't think he's playing on, basketball. On, on, I think he's just showing up. Hold on, hold on. Yo, Ice. Ice. God. You ever remember my Michael uh, cruising? Listen, man, you're not ready for me in my mouth right now. I've been telling y'all the same shit. Nobody listen to me. But whatever. It's sad because I see it and I'm like, damn, a lot of people won't get fired. A lot of situations will happen just because. Greatest player ever! He can't be, son. Like, that, James. That, the reason why they call LeBron the greatest player ever is because of stats. And the problem with stats is it doesn't show you. The type of player that you are. So when like Kobe scored eighty points, everybody was like, "Kobe scored eighty points." Oh my God, he scored eighty points, and that was definitely amazing. But if you see how he scored eighty points and why he scored eighty points, you're like, you gotta take something from it. You can't take everything from it because to score eighty points, you you gotta be able to shoot. But you gotta take something from it when you see the defense that were playing on him and he wasn't passing the ball no lie, just going nuts. The same thing with LeBron. LeBron. Came into the league very young, super talented player, and at a very young age, he was putting up buckets, men around boys, just killing the league. But the problem with LeBron is, like the more one hater would say, he shied away from greatness. Whenever it came, he didn't want to have to just deal with it because he started to realize that the toughest moments is where Jordan lived. Like Jordan stayed in that prime. When last shot, I want the ball. And he, and, go, and he gonna make it. You gonna you gonna beat me? I wanna guard you. Those are the things that made Jordan better than a lot of players, even better than Kobe Bryant, because these guys feared to do certain things. Jordan got defensive player of the year almost all six years or Dude. how many how many years he he got it, but the problem with all the other players that came after him, they just want the offense. And even like Steph Curry and all these guys, they they're, they excel in offense, but they don't excel overall, and that's the problem. Yo, did you hear what Allen Iverson said about Michael Jordan about the first time they ever played each other? No, nah, I didn't hear that. Michael Jordan approached him and said, Sup, little bitch. Yeah, Michael Jordan was ruthless. He was, he was the. He I was, love it. I love that. He, I have not seen a player like that, although I will say Jimmy Buckets is like, Jimmy Buckets? Yeah. Reminds me of Mike in that sense. But that's the. When that, he goes on the court, he's like, Yeah, nigga, you ready? He's on now. You know, he why, you know why he plays like that? Because he plays in Jordan's camp every year. And every year that he plays Jordan, he tells Jordan the same thing. I'm about to bust your ass. And, 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 and Jordan busts his ass. But the way they go at it, they close the gym. And these two go at it all the time. So when you play, and this is why I said the NBA is whack. Because when you have that level of competition, the game is so much better. And it's right. crazy because you got a young kid, Jimmy Buzz is a 25, 26. Yeah, he's very young. Playing right. against a 
52? Yeah, 51, 50, 52. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's still smoking. And Mike's this? still smoking this nigga. I love it. I love That's it. crazy. Can you imagine if Mike was like 40, he would have came back? He would have averaged easy 35 because you can't put your hands on him. Yeah. So my problem with LeBron is this. This generation, there's nobody that can keep up with him because of the way he works. And his work, work ethic is very, very good. My problem with LeBron is when it counts and it's on him, it's like, you can't count oh, my him. God, I got to pee. He <laughs> pees on himself. Well, like you said, this generation, a lot of players have anxiety. You've heard um, a lot of players even came out and said they have a problem with anxiety because the expectations of them set by Jordan, Kobe, all these players before them, they just have a problem trying to live up to that. So when you have when you have when you have everybody waiting for you to, to, to take the final shot and you're not accustomed to doing stuff like that or or you, you just You don't think he's accustomed to that already? Nah. You LeBron, you don't think he's accustomed to that? Okay, the difference is when LeBron came in, they wasn't expecting him to win championships right away. Uh. So you get that leeway, right? Yeah. So you know when you first come to the job, they're like, oh, you know, you're still learning, whatever, whatever. But then after you're there a while, they're like, yo, you got to step up. Like, we paying you so you could do certain things. That's right. So now, what does he do? He's like, damn, I can't take this pressure. So I'm going to go over here to my to my other department with my boy, D-Wade. He already won a chip, so all the pressure is going to be on him. And all I got to do is learn from him and see how he does it. So you think he's just showing up for a check now? I think he's showing up for a check. Because I watched You think this is going to be his last year? No. I think what he's doing is he's trying to see when they have a good good enough team to make the playoffs, he feels like he's just going to step up or he's going to do something where he's going to wait till playoff season to play. Because so he you actually... So he's reserving himself? He's, oh, Shaq hell used to do no. that. Shaq used to do that. Oh, And that's why no. Kobe used to hate Shaq because Shaq... Used to come to the league overweight. Man, fuck Shaq. No, Shaq was a monster. Shaq used to come to the league overweight. <laughs> oh, I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna compete. Like Shaq, overweight, never ready to play. But by the time playoff came, that's me. Yeah, used to put in that work. Let me take put in that work on my Superman juice. Hold on. Oh, oh hell no. Yo, Shaq was a monster. I don't want to hear no one tell me. F so Shaq. what you think? You think he's showing up for a check being stupid? Because I just asked. Uh, Who, LeBron? Can't go the same. Yeah. That's I, all. Let I me think tell you something. Showing up for a check. LeBron is there to collect the nice check that he's getting, and he's also there to start his second career. He don't care about basketball. And I can tell you why. He's not playing defense. He's playing mellow defense where he's oh, standing he's, there. He's doing all and, and guys are just going by him. He's saying, "Oh hey." <laughs> <laughs> because that's the type of dude he's playing. Yeah, he, he's definitely doing the Ole. He's there for a chat. We, listen. How many more years do you think he got? You think this is I'll, give him, I'll give him three years. Three? At that level playing like that? Yeah, because next year... Because the, he's still wait. scoring 25, no, 10. That's not it. Next year is when the free agents are coming. And they're going to build the team the way he wants the team to be uh, built. He's going to pick and, He's going to pick it. And they're going to win. They're going to win. But after next year, they're going to win. After next year is when the shift of balance is going to happen because a lot of these teams have these young kids coming up and these super team shit is going to be over. Ain't going to be no more super teams. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's going to go back to the old way. That people are going to actually kind of have to work for their championships? Yes. Yes. It's Three gonna years from now. It's going to be dull NBA. It's going to be dull. Hmm. The NBA still needs more talent though. It, it's going to get better because now they're allowing players from Russia to come here. They're oh. allowing... Players from Brazil. Now nah, they're opening the doors for them. They had them all locked down. Like y'all niggas can't come in. And then hold on, they're not gonna pay them as much. No, they will. Is it like in real life? They have to. Like they don't, you know. Well, they're outsourcing. No. These players. Well, they're not. They're not gonna pay them as much because I haven't seen except for Dirk. I haven't seen. And soon, Kurt, uh, uh, Pozinga. Pozinga. I haven't oh, seen. Pozinga. I haven't I seen any check. international player. Get a USA check. That's you know? what I'm saying. So oh, other than, than Dirk, nah, no. Yeah, problem. so that's you know, so you definitely right about that's that. That's bullshit. But well, it's gonna, it's, about it's, gonna take, it's gonna take some time. Kukos was the first Euro yes. player to get that. I'm money. sorry, Kukos was the first player to get that money. Oh, that was a bull. He was a bull, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was the reason why I remember those days. To bust his ass in practice. I yeah. remember those days. Yeah. So let's go back to Shaq for a minute. Yeah. Shaq was a beast, but only because he was big. 
Okay, there's a lot of big players you, now. You, there's some you, trash. You think Shaq was better than Patrick Ewing? Okay, yes. Oh, shit. Here we go. What? Because he uses God-given talent. Think about it like what this. What was his talent? Fucking putting his fat ass on niggas? Yes. And fucking hitting him in the stomach like he was backing it up? No, yes. How many, fat ass, talent, how many fat ass people right now can't do that? How many people can shoot free throws? A lot. He can't shoot free throws, like, nigga. Guess, he couldn't hit a fucking so shot. So guess what? The it, only thing that nigga could do was dunk on a nigga yo, and fucking backboard. Shaq wasn't with Jordan in the gym, son. Oh. So look at, look, at, look at all of that, right? He only had one move. And he still couldn't stop him. That's I'm sorry. That's not talent, though. Yes, that is Patrick talent. Because if you know, if look, this. Patrick Ewing is shooting jump shots, hitting free throws, playing defense. Even though the Knicks ain't with shit, he was better than Shaq. Let me ask you a question. Did they make any rule changes for, for Patrick Ewing? Elijah Moore was better than Shaq. Did they ever make? Did David they? Robinson was better than Shaq. You want me to continue with this? Did list? Shaq beat all of them for rings? Thank you. All right. Yeah, but <laughs> who was on his team? Who was on his team? I don't care what no who one said. Who was on his team, my let, nigga? Let me, let me, all of this. Wasn't it Kobe? Did Shaq beat Jordan for a ring? Huh? Did Shaq beat Jordan for a ring? No. No. Okay. Come so again. All, all right. I'm not saying it's better than Jordan, but all the plays you said before that. All the plays you said before that. Case closed. Case closed. Case closed. Let's move on. Case closed. I just want y'all to understand something, yo. <laughs> There's no argument against Jordan for nothing, man. Like, you know, maybe maybe shooting three pointers, right? Because Curry and, and, and Thompson got that a lot. Yeah. Jordan wasn't a great shooter, but clutch, you know, as, as much that, as as much as people want to talk about uh, Steph Curry, they forgot Mitch Richmond. Look at Mitch Richmond numbers. Oh, you oh, are, if, you want, Miller, son? if you want to see a shooter, Bro, and his percentage was yo, over fifty. What did, what did Reggie Miller do to fucking Spike Lee? He yeah. scored nine points in three point eight seconds, my nigga. Yeah. What? Who got? Yeah. yeah, y'all want to? We don't want to talk about that. <laughs> we don't want to talk about that. Y- y'all want to see shooters? Go back in the day and see some shooters. Word. Larry Bird was there before Steph Curry. Larry Bird was a freaking phenom. Yo, Chuck maybe Person. we should do a podcast on the old school versus Chuck, the new school. Chuck motherfucking person, mother Chuck Person and yeah. the Indiana Pacers. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they, there's been some shooters. The problem with the problem with those eras. There's not enough games on television, not enough games on social websites. Yeah, I know social websites, so people ain't know about none of that. But there was some shooters back in the day. Freaking, was it Mullen, whatever his name, Chris Mullen? Yeah. Come on, people. And then you want to talk about range. Listen, there was no three-point line back in the day. And some people used to shoot way back to half court. That's so. crazy, son. So, let's talk about the team that just got killed for... In 19, no, 2000? No, 1989, 1990, no, no, 1998, playoffs, 3.8 seconds, Reggie Miller scores, 9 points on him, let's talk about the New York Knicks. That was, that was something that would never be accomplished again. I don't think anyone else would ever do I that. I want to talk about something that's really And he started, he started the leg, the, the leg, the leg out. Or that's a leg out three pointer. He started. You know what's funny? The, he started the leg out three pointer. You know what's funny? He started that leg out three pointer, and then Jordan mastered it. Yep, leg out three pointer. Like, let me show you how to do this. Let me show I'll you show how, you how, how to, do to do this, son. <laughs> you made it a hot line. I made it a hot song. <laughs> Let's talk about Terry Rose here, son. He's out. I just saw today. He's either going to the Knicks or he's going to to. to I just um, saw today in a, a website. I'm not going to say their name because they don't support us. But I saw it in one of y'all websites that he gave an interview and he said, well, I can't play behind a superstar. That's not what I came here to do. When I was drafted, everybody thought I was whack. But I took my team along with my partners to the playoffs. Facts. With no hesitation. And now I'm being put in a situation where I have to leave my boys behind and choose my own path. He out. Yeah, he out. He already said it. He was like, listen, I'm not playing behind, um, what's his name? Um, Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving. And then Kyrie Irving, that's why he said, I'm staying. Because they were sit- the, the Celtics were feeling Rosier bullshit. They were like, don't worry. We don't know what Kyrie's doing. We're going to make this, whatever, whatever. We're going to sign here. Sign here, and then we'll take care of you. Kyrie came out and said, yo, I'm not going nowhere. Rosier was like, okay. 
thank you for telling me that this is what's gonna happen. And they now they stuck because they can't they can't feed them lies no more. And that's what teams do. They feed these players lies. Yo, these players out there just thinking it's a job. In a way, get paid because no matter what these analysts say about you, at the end of the day, they ain't gonna pay your bills when it's time to retire. In a way, I gotta I gotta give respect to Kyrie Irving, my nigga. Yeah. I'm showing him mad respect because I think he didn't do that to tell Terry Rose to leave. No. Nah. I think he did it so he could look out for him and be like, look, young man, I'm staying. You ain't gonna be playing all these minutes. Go get your bread somewhere else. And in reality, that's gonna hurt the Celtics because. As you can see, the nucleus now is not the same the nucleus as when he was out. There's two different these, teams. These niggas is struggling There's two with him on the teams. team because he has control of the ball. Unlike when he was gone, everybody had control of the ball. They play as a better unit when every when the ball's rotating. They, they play like the Warriors without with. He does the same thing LeBron does to other teams. I want the ball in my hands. And let me tell you, let's not get it twisted. It's not just him. Haywood also being back. Yeah. They got dudes on a bench that was strong when these two dumbasses was out. Yeah. Who was killing tell the me league. Tell me it wasn't funny when Haywood went, went to play back in Utah and they were booing the <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, they no, even they even had a fan to sit right next to right next to the bench. <laughs> Yo, he, he sitting there and he thrust it. Right behind the guy he like did. Oh, yeah. The guy's trying to take the ball out ice and he like did. He, he was like, about to do lap dances. <laughs> Right behind the player, son. He like behind. And he ain't get snuffed? Nah, nah because he, he didn't paid, notice. His ticket was like ten thousand dollars or whatever. You know, he paid big money to sit. Did yeah. you see the sign? Yeah. Hey, were you worthless? Yeah. Damn. Utah is one of them states that they they live in and, and breathe basketball. So when you ain't nothing else going on. Yeah, there. when you leave that Fucking team, snowboard. you better leave for a good reason, or you better leave because they kicked you out. That's like the Pacers. The Pacers are the same way. That's crazy, son. Yeah. Been some good games though. You know what I was, what I, what I find crazy is the West has the best teams, but the East is playing the best basketball right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is strange because I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought the East right now would have been whack, but it looks like the East is st- trying to step up. Yeah, and don't be surprised if one of those East teams upset the Warriors. Oh, if the Raptors, the Warriors if, just got slapped up by who? Oh, uh, the Bucks. Is yeah. Curry hurt? Yes. No. Yes, he's hurt. Yes, he's hurt. He hurt his ankle on the that game that they they smacked him up. Fuck him. Uh, <laughs> the Milwaukee Bucks just slapped the shit out of him too by thirty, son. Damn. By thirty. Run up the score on the ass. I want to talk about the alien. Talk about well, the alien? Wait, hold up. All I'm going to say is if if the Raptors meet the Warriors, if the Raptors meet anybody Let me tell from the West Side, hold up, and freaking playoff, the Raptors is winning. Remember I said that shit. Yo. <laughs> the final four on the Eastern Conference is going to be better than any finals you could have. Yeah, I need that. Because it's going to be Philly, yo. Toronto, Milwaukee, and Boston. That's the best. The, that- commis- the commissioner, commiss the commission, change the fucking format. No one cares about who's the top in the East. Top. Of- I want that shit to be like top March. Top 16. Top 16. March Madness. Let's go. Come on. Word. That'll That's be exciting. Just- Change the format. Basketball is getting whack because of this nonsense of top oh. sixteen. The only thing though, they'll find a way. Teams will find a way to start tanking though to get picks. That's the only thing about that. You got to figure it out. Yeah, but but they just got to change that tanking shit. Where it's like you can't get the top eight um, picks no matter what. But, yeah, you you it's the luck of the draw. Yeah, you got You could get maybe top three or top two. But you can't get more than the the, the, the uh, top five or something. You you gotta nah, you gotta let everybody that. have a fair chance at getting the number one pick because I'll use a perfect example. The Knicks just got caught up on a lot, right? The coach said this nigga can't sprint. He ain't running yet. And she got fined for that. And then this nigga puts up a video and he's. Damn. He's out there for his company and shit, and the coach is like, "Oh, we we had some miscommunications. Um, the trainer told me that he wasn't spreading and stuff like that. He should have got fined for that. He should got fined for that. Don't, no, not he. The team should have got fined for that because he goes as the team tells him to go. Yeah. So whatever they gonna they, tell they, him. They, the this Knicks, is what you got to say. The Knicks should have got fined for that because basically, when that's that's almost like when um, the Lakers. Said something to another player like, "Oh, we're thinking he might be a good 
a good signing for next year. You can't do things where you're you're, you're lying about your team. When, when when San Antonio did it with, with David Robinson that they got Tim Duncan, yeah, they should have got fined. Yeah. They should have lost that number one pick because they did that shit intentionally. Oh, David Robinson ain't playing because he hurt. David Robinson is out here fucking shooting hoops and dunking on niggas, and it's like yo, I thought he was hurt. What the NBA should do is have their own personal doctors examine these players, and if the player can play. You playing. Like a neutral one. Yeah, you gotta... Yeah, yeah stop this tanking bullshit. Stop it, son. It, it, who's to say that your pick is gonna work out anyway? How many number one picks been out there and they big doofus from, te- from Portland, right? Remember? <laughs> the, wiz- like, the Wizards know about Kwame Brown. That, that was Michael Jordan's mistake. <laughs> that was a Michael Jordan's mistake. That's one thing Michael Jordan can't do is be a GM. Yeah, you, you know what it is? Because he likes the youth. He likes young dudes. And when he sees a when he sees a player that that reminds him of someone that like him that wants to hustle, Kwame was Kwame was nice because he was playing against midgets, Jordan. He's playing against midgets. <laughs> when you're playing in the bitty and everybody there is five years old and you're yeah. fifteen, yeah, you're yeah. gonna look like Michael Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he got it together though, because this little Hornets team that he got. They play defense yeah. and they play together. Yeah, Michael Jordan has learned a lot yeah. since, since he's been gone yeah. from basketball as yep. a player to whatever. But and when he first when he first tried to go behind the scenes, he didn't know shit. What I like now is that he's not trying to go for no superstars either. Yeah. He's like, nah, I'm gonna build this like this. This is how I want to build it. Mm-hmm. He got a lot of youngins on his team. They yeah, have a good team. I gotta, I gotta give it to them. Have a good team. You know who should get who should retire to? Who? Just think about any player in the NBA that. Things they're better than Shaq. I'm gonna give you some hints. D Wade. Things they're better than Shaq. Oh, Dwight Howard. Yeah. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. You know what yeah. I think about Dwight he's, Howard, my nigga? That's what I think about Dwight Howard, my nigga. He's that big. Is a joke. He's big. He can do. He can do what Shaq used to do. Back it up. He ain't doing That's that. what he needs to be doing. Yeah. He can't do it. He needs to be backing it up. He's too busy finding his baby mamas in court for fucking child support. Yo, you seen that that Clippers player seven nine, Mister just. Tippy toe and <laughs> you see how old he is? Twenty, <laughs> and he's seven nine. The nigga don't stop growing for another year. Unfortunately, I, I, I hope. I hope. He's yeah, almost seven nine. He's, he's seven, almost eight feet. Six. That's scary. I hope they he's something. I hope they find a way to stop his growth because he's not gonna make. He's it. gonna have the surgery that the Big Show had. Okay. The Big Show had the surgery. Yeah. But elephantitis. What was it called? Elephantitis. Yeah, he's gotta also wait to a certain age. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Elephantitis is not that. Is that with your feet? No. Oh, here we go. Do, 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 do. Ice goes, man. Like shit. you're sitting on your nutsack because it's so big. Oh, hold All on. Right, we going to fact it check this. Look shit. it up. Damn. Look <laughs> it up. We're going to take this quick. <laughs> more break. Uh, y'all, y'all keep going. I'll let you know that uh, <laughs> Bodega Sports is brought to you by Hood News Media. Elephant Titans. And you can find <laughs> us at uh, Hood News Media <laughs> at gmail.com. That's Hood News Media with a Z. And we're also on Instagram, look Facebook. Look at the images. <laughs> and I'm also, I don't think I want to look good. Yeah, you need to look. And he's uh, fat checking nuts. Pause. Okay, first of all, I'm not fat checking nuts. Elephantitis is No, bad. it's not. See, I was right. Well, I was kind of right. Oh. Slightly right. Oh. Is somebody there sitting on their nuts? No. <laughs> Elephantitis. That's elephantitis. Yeah, it's just when you have like your 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 um, your feet, your feet are. The elephantitis that I know is when your genitalia is very 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 She's right. very huge. Okay. Partially right. And you sitting on the ball. Oh, look at this nigga's ball. Thank you very Pause. much. Look at this ball. Thank you very much. So elephantitis is when you are, when you have body body parts. That are that are swollen or overgrown. All right, well he's sitting on his nuts <laughs> like a bean bag. <laughs> In case y'all need to know, right? I know what the bean, fuck I'm talking he about. He got bean bag nuts. Balls. Listen. Oh god, you can't run with them shit. <laughs> I talk- told you, cat dog. I told you. And then we talk about some fucking weird shit. Let's talk about the alien right quick. Is he the next John Starks? What's his name? Alonzo Trier. Okay. AKA. Yeah, he is. Iso. Zo, baby. Yo, his handle is crazy. He, he is the next John Stark. You know, that nigga could be the rookie of the year the way he's playing. He's I'm average, shocked. He's averaging 15. So I'm like. shocked. Yeah. And you know what? It was he crazy. didn't get a contract. He didn't get drafted. He's on a two way contract to, to Wednesday. Yeah. Which the Knicks are about to cut somebody for him. 
You know, what's crazy, nuts. What's crazy about him is that he's not aggressive. They're still telling him, like, shoot the ball. Hey, like, yo, go for he's it. He's not aggressive. They, they think his game is not aggressive. He's not, dunking on everybody. Yes, but when he... So he plays within the the basket, within the, within the, the play. Okay. But when there's times you can see that he's... So, all right. When you're not an NBA draft player, like, you, you just came from, like, you just a pickup player... You're scared to, to to alienate players that are drafted. You're scared to alienate team teammates because you figure that they might not pick you. So with him, he's playing the goody two shoe role. I don't pass think, the ball here. I don't think it's that pass the ball here. I think he he he's he knows that uh, Tim Hardaway is supposed to be the the face of the team right now. And he oh, big up to Tim Hardaway by pushing the ball between that dude's leg and shooting two on him. That was what's up. He doesn't want to. He, you know, he don't want to go against the grain. If so, Tim Hardaway wasn't there and it was just all these young niggas, he'd be the face of the team. Tim Hardaway, I don't think you're gonna be there for that long. So nope. Get yourself, get yourself, get, get that bags packed. Do, do, do. Get them bags packed. Yep. I, he needs to pack his bags. I think he's going to Detroit. And, and, and I think you would have a phenomenal career in Detroit. So and I know. think Corny Lee needs to pack his bags. I think he's going to end up in either Houston or San Antonio. Gordon Lee, I think you're going to be in the Shanghai Knights. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. Why you got to talk about the Shanghai Knights like that, bro? So, our conversation is almost over. All right. How are we looking on our on our predictions so far? I ain't going to talk about predictions you until we get? until we get to like 15 games. We have 15 games now, nigga. No, we're not. How many games in? We have probably 12. So, so next you, week. So you gonna you after gonna, Thanksgiving? After oh. Thanksgiving, we gonna talk about. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be here for Thanksgiving. All the shit I'm gonna eat. You could be you could be laid out on the sofa somewhere. Anyway, all I know my top four. Oh my god, ain't gonna happen. I'm telling that shit right now. So my top four ain't gonna happen. I, I, I'm gonna talk about it when after Thanksgiving, when my belly is all fluffed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what I do gotta say is, what team, based on point what you're looking my at, my nigga. We picked the Cavs no, in the fourth. Damn Don't we, just say we're not going to talk about picks. So, Them niggas ain't even near the, the 10. <laughs> All right, so if you want, I'm going to give you this. If you want to switch a team, what team would you swap out? Regardless of what position they're in right now, what team would you swap out? I'm going to give you one swap. One to eight. This is some bullshit. One so, to eight. One to eight. East or West. You can only do one to, East or West. Have, you can't do both. I have to take the Cavs out of there. All right. And who you putting in? And you got to put him. You got to put him. You got to put it from the East. So who you putting in? So go ahead. You just took the Cavs out, bro. It's 18. Um, hold on. If I'm taking the Cavs out, I have to put in... Damn, that's kind of hard. I'm going to put the heat in. Because they're playing decent ball. Alright, so I'm not taking nobody out until... You need to take these bum-ass niggas out. All right. You really think them niggas... Alright, so I'm going to take the Cavs. Them niggas All right. 50, son. All right. The Giants is going to win another game before they will, son. Woo! <laughs> the Cavs! Damn. <laughs> is, and, and your man Kevin Love. I forgot. Kevin Love for six months. Yeah, I forgot about it. Get right. the fuck so, out of here. Alright, so... I'm taking the Cavs out. Who you gonna put in? Hashtag we taking the Cavs fucking out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm putting the same team you put yeah. in. Yeah. It, it, there's no, there's no way I see the Cavs making a play. I, I forgot that Kevin Love decided that he's gonna take a vacation from basketball. The fuck he had body like. Nah, he ripped his ankle or some shit. He's He's old. He got elephantitis. (laughs) (laughs) He got elephantitis. Anyway. (laughs) That's how he sat on his nuts. (laughs) We signing off. (laughs) I think I had enough of this bullshit for today. (laughs) BX Lou, the LeBron hater, can't dog. We out. You know where to catch us. Gmail, Instagram, Facebook, all that. All social platforms. All types of shit. (laughs) Catch us soon. Peace.